conductometric estimation of acid mixture. Acid mixture contains the mixture of HCl and acetic acid. This is the type of titration where you are estimating the different acids which are mixed here. So that is what the acid mixture. Usually the acid mixture which contains HCl and acetic acid by using the conductivity of the solution you are determining the strength of HCl and acetic acid. So the conductance is a reciprocal of resistance and it is expressed in Simons where conductivity is equal to 1 upon resistivity where the same constant is given by L upon A. So this is what the conductivity cell which we are using here. So at first you have to wash this conductivity cell by using the distilled water and later you have to wipe it with a filter paper. So even a drop may dilute your given solution. Just to avoid that you have to wipe it cleanly. And later these are what the two solutions which are supplied to you. The one is the standard solution of NaOH solution. The concentration of NaOH is 0.5 N NaOH and this should be filled in microburette. Whereas the acid mixture which is supplied to you, this contains HCl and acetic acid solution. By using this, you have to find out what is the strength of HCl and acetic acid. And the 50 ml of acid mixture should be pipetted out by using the pipette. And this is pipetted out in a beaker and this is of 50 ml. And after pipetting out, you have to dip this conductor itself completely into the acid mixture. And later, whatever the initial reading is there, that you have to note down. This is what the settings. So here the conductivity that is the range should be adjusted to 20 millisiemens and whereas this is the mode where you have to adjust the temperature whatever the lab temperature is there according to that you have to adjust the temperature. Now it is 27 so we adjusted to 27 and later you have to turn this knob to the conductivity so that the conductivity of the solution is displayed here. So this is what the initial conductivity of the solution. After that you have to add 0.5 ml of NaOH solution from the microburette each and every time and you have to shake it well and whatever the change in the conductivity that should be noted down. So according to what is the initial what we have already recorded that is more than this. So now the conductivity of the solution is decreased which indicates the decrease in the H plus concentration of the solution. So till 10 ml you have to add the NaOH solution. So each time each interval you have to add 0.5 ml and each time you have to record the display of the conductivity. And like this you are getting the three limbs in the graph. At first there will be a decrease in the conductivity that is because of the H plus concentration in the solution decreases because HCl reacts with the NaOH solution so as to form NaCl and water. The salt plus water is formed here because of that H plus concentration at the initial stage decreases and later after the completion of first reaction the second reaction takes place that is the acetic acid and NaOH. As you know that HCl is a stronger acid so at first this reaction initiates after the complete neutralization of HCl the second reaction takes place. So again there will be a formation of salt plus water that is sodium acetate is formed here. So when you come to the graph the graph is with the conductivity versus the volume of NaOH. At first because of the decrease in the H plus concentration there will be decrease in the conductivity and later the second leaf indicates there will be a slight increase in the conductivity that is because of the formation of sodium acetate which is more stronger electrolyte compared to acetic acid because of that you are observing the slight increase in the conductivity and later at the end you are observing the steep increase in the conductivity which indicates the neutralization of these two acids because of the neutralization of these two acids, the OH minus concentration in the reaction mixture increases. Because of that, you are observing the steep increase here. And here, you are getting the two points. Those are VA and VB. VA is nothing but the volume of NaOH required 
for the complete neutralization of HCl. Whereas Vb is given by the complete the volume of NaOH required for the complete neutralization of acid mixture. Whereas Vb minus Va will give you the volume of NaOH required for the complete neutralization of acetic acid. So this is what the nature of the graph. And by using N1 V1 is equals to N2 V2, you can calculate the strength of the two acids, HCl and acetic acid. And later by using the grams per liter, you can calculate the grams per liter of the acid solution. This is what the conductometric estimation. So the conductometric estimation is somewhat different from the volumetric estimation. As you know that in volumetric estimation, we are using the indicators. And even for the turbid solution and the colored solution, it is very difficult to go for volumetric estimation. But when you go for conductometric estimation, by means of the equivalent point, whatever you are getting in the graph, by using that you are calculating the strength of the acids. So because of that, this estimation is more accurate when compared to the volumetric estimation. Thank you.